Hey, Bleed Big Blue, Tim from the podcast. It's week three, guys. Uh, it's Philly week. We haven't had a win yet. We haven't really looked good yet. Uh, at least, especially on the offensive side. But this is a division game, and theoretically, we win this week, and some people lose. This whole division could be tied at one and two, and we're right back into it. So let's hope uh, the Giants know the same thing and have the sense of urgency to win. But it's that time of the week. It's time for the five point preview. Number one, can this offensive line hold up against Philly's pass rush? Now, obviously, after these past two games, uh, we don't have a whole lot of confidence in that fact. But let's hope, you know, they've taken these past two weeks personal and this offensive line steps it up. They have the capability to play well, guys. It's not like they're the worst offensive line in the league. I know some of you might think differently, but that is not the case. And, you know, it's going to be a big test this week. Philly has a great front four, you know, having guys such as like Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox on the other side they have to worry about. If the Giants offensive line can hold up this week, I think that will give them the confidence to push forward with this rest of the season. But that's a big if. Let's just hope they step it up. Number two, and it was a good transition from offensive line because we're going to need their help with this one. Number two is going to be will Orleans Zarqua take advantage of his opportunity? Now, supposedly, it's been reported that he's going to be featured this week instead of uh, Paul Perkins. Now, if that's the case, this is what we've been asking for, guys. Dark was played better than Paul Perkins the whole time going back to the preseason. And I want to see this no-nonsense runner actually running the ball consistently. And, you know, let him get a little bit of a rhythm. And give this offensive line a break uh, with the pass coverage. Just think about this, guys. If Orleans Darkwa runs consistently like he does every once in a great while, gets five yards here, gets six yards here. You know, heaven forbid he actually get like a ten-yard run. You know how much easier it's going to be on second and third down for this team to keep moving the ball forward if we actually have uh, this defense has to respect uh, running game it could be huge I'm just hoping T- Darkwood takes advantage of his opportunity we need someone to step up maybe he, maybe it's him number three will we see more Odell this week he played you know he played last week but you know, he was on a pitch count and you know he played sparingly but I want to see Odell play this week, not only because we really need him, it's because Philly's secondary is the weak spot of that defense. And for us to really take advantage of Philly, we need to pass on him. And I want our number one receiver out there, especially when guys like Brandon Marshall have not stepped it up yet. So Odell, if you're even on a pitch count, you better take advantage of those. snaps are in there because Philly's secondary is uh, ripe for the picking as long as uh, Eli is able to get you guys the ball. So Odell, let's see if you're you're playing more. Uh, number four, we need the pressure once. Now, this team has pressured people and uh, you know what? Vernon has played great. JPP's had has had good games, but I think he could have played better, especially against Detroit. Yes, he did have that sack fumble, but other than that, uh, Ryan Wagner was uh, dominating him, I w- or at least covering him up. I want to see these guys take advantage of it. And honestly, what happened? Spagnola, let's get these guys some rest too. Let's get a rotation of defensive ends in there. I want you guys to pressure Wentz. And the biggest thing I want pressure on Wentz for is I want to see turnovers. This offense is not playing well, guys. 
uh, let's you know get a turnover in the red zone. Let's you know have been the defense actually scores. Let's get a pick six. The defense you have been playing awesome, especially the amount of time you've been on the field. But you're bending and not breaking. I want to see you take advantage of the talent you have on that defense and get some turnovers and make the second year quarterback scared to throw. Number five, and this is the question I think we all have on our uh, minds, guys, is is this the game that's going to turn us around? You know, we, we went from being Super Bowl contenders to start the season, and we're all, we were all thinking it, you know, but we haven't looked like it. We've, we've looked terrible in the past two weeks. But, like I, I said in the beginning, this game, one win would put us right in the NFC East mix. One win with a couple of losses, we're all tied. We're all tied in the NFC East at one and two. And that gives us the advantage, guys. You know what? We turn it around now. And I'm gonna, we aren't the only teams that aren't looking bad. So let's, let's still have hope. We're getting it together. We, t- we can turn this around. And you know what? If we can't, I want to see some more changes happening. So that's my five-point preview, guys. Here's the thing. I want to hear your five-point preview. You know, I want you guys to, uh, you know, ch- obviously check out the podcast. I love when you guys call in. Uh, I love when you guys do comments in the chat room. We look at everything. Uh, check us out on, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, Instagram. I mean, every social media we're on. I mean, if you really, really want to go after it, uh, Marco and I are on Twitch. If you want to try to find us on that. So, it's week three. It's Philly. Let's get a W. I still bleed Big Blue. Always.